Okay, so today KC is gonna be cooking for us. It's actually a surprise ingredient. He doesn't even know what's in these bags. Uh, yeah, you ready? You wanna you wanna take it out and see what you're cooking today for us? Uh, hell yeah! I love surprises, and uh, my buddy's got me a surprise today. Nothing better than a man getting another man surprises. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit different today on this episode. We're gonna do a bunch of surprises. He's surprising me with the stuff right here. Secret ingredient. Secret ingredient, and I'm supposedly putting it together for you guys, all right? Showing you guys the uh, cooking process of a curveball ingredient. We got chicken, legs, thighs, and uh, boneless no, loin chops. Pork chops, and chops. the chicken is just for the snack. Okay. It's like a part of your cooking. Okay, we got peppers. Yeah, we got bell pepper. What is that? Ooh, that's habanero. Habanero, okay. okay. Tomatoes, yeah. Tomatoes. Okay. Cabbage. Cabbage. And Mexican squash. Okay, squash. Sounds good. It's a lot of healthy stuff. And some onions. More onions, okay. And some. And we got potatoes. Yellow potatoes. All right. So I was supposed to take all this and put it together into something good. All right. I think I'm excited for this, and um, we'll test your cooking skills today. Test my cooking skills and show you guys how I cook, how I do it, and hopefully it turns out good. <laughs> so I, I do have a secret ingredient. So I'm gonna put this secret ingredient to surprise you guys, okay, viewers. And you got it. And we got a special guest over there, my buddy over there. Say hi, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Dan. Uh, I'm Kim's neighbor. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm here to have some good food and some, uh, some good hot sauce. I don't want to take all day cooking, so basically, that's what we're gonna do, quick and fast. All right, that is done. Thinking what I'm gonna do. Step the baby up. Kind of squash at ease. Mexican squash, guys. Got the good old Mexican squash. Careful with those. How about that? Yes. Seeds and everything. Mince up. Don't be spicy. Alright, so now we cut all the ingredients here. And the habanero peppers and everything. The pork chops right there. And the chef. <laughs> so tell us about your plan. So my plan, uh, I can't give away too much, but uh, basics is there. Pepper, salt, oil, and um, I'm gonna add some ingredients in there. 
some special ingredients there, so uh, you record everything, don't you? Go for it, bro. Fish sauce. Fish sauce. For some All right. umami flavor. Let's see how it's turn up the heat. The heat's been up, so we'll let it sizzle. Alright? Well I prep the some garlic, some ingredient of your own. Mm -hmm. You all have to do that, it's all good. I like garlic. Yeah, garlic brings everything together. Yeah, so you put all three habanero peppers in that pan. I'm a little worried. Still chopping garlic right here, potatoes still here, cabbage, and squash and bell peppers. I'm excited, man. Let's see what you can make for us. You want to see this over here? Yeah. yeah. Half of it in here. So you put in a cider and potatoes? Too lazy to go get water, so just need something to steam up the uh, potatoes, all right guys? So there she goes. Tropical flavor cider. Okay, all right. Let's see what we get from that. Simmer. Oh, we forgot about lime. Put some little lime real quick up here. Good tenderizer. We have a tenderizing cup right here. So I guess today he's cooking everything on the grill. Even though I told him you don't have to, but okay, that might be better. We got some lime on the potatoes here. Interesting. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Okay. What are you doing now? Just trim up the uh, plant. Actually, this is our secret ingredient. Lemongrass, guys. This is lemongrass? Lemongrass. Are you sure? Fresh up. Okay. Oh, you're bringing all kinds of tricks, huh? In your <laughs> cooking. <laughs> I didn't even know you have lemongrass growing you can, here. You can cook and trim your plants at the same time. <laughs> I might be in trouble next time, because um, next time I'm going to be cooking and I'm not that good of a cook. If anybody know about lemongrass, lemongrass is such a great uh, herb. It's really good for you at the same time. Lemongrass. You kind of want to cut it as thin as you can, as small as you can, because they're kind of tough. And it's really strong. It's a strong herbal, so... But it's very uh, aromatic, so it smells really good. I can smell it while I'm chopping up on it. So this is how we're going to marinate the pork. What? Lemongrass. Lemongrass. This is the, the, the dangerous part. The three habanero peppers in there. Mm -hmm. What are you planning? What are you planning? Uh, the plan for today is you're free balling. Some 
pepper, huh? A little bit of pepper. And a little bit of pink sea salt. Pink sea salt. Okay. Pink sea salt. Himalayan pink sea salt. Okay. Just waiting for this guy to finish cooking. So what are you doing now? Taking the pork? Transfer it to the pan. Give it a, a good speed cook. Fancy cooking now. Oh, oh whoa! Bring it down a little bit. That's fancy. So far so good, but KC is struggling what to do with this. I gotta put on my thinking cap now, huh? Yeah. yeah, so cabbage, squash, and bell peppers. So what's your plan for that? That's really a curveball, because I really use oh, oh. Spanish squash, cabbage, yeah, pepper, yeah. But this is literally just like one of those foods where you just steam it up and oh. eat it as is. Surprise me. Yeah. I do want to put something in to enhance it though. Oh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Put on beer. Stay tuned. Come on up. Oh, he's drinking too. Alright. Oh, Need oh, a break now. We're doing jambalaya. I'm just joking. Some corn. We got some corn, corn around here. Yeah, it's got some sweet salt. Some wine. And yeah. what did you put in that cider? You put the cider in it. We got the uh, lime zest. To be honest with you guys, it smells really good. I'm yeah. transferring these uh, veggies with habanero peppers. Yeah. yeah, that's not a big dish. And three habanero peppers in there. It might be really spicy. The pork chop's still cooking. And this is still here. So what's the plan for this? Plan for this? We'll cook it. <laughs> It is tough, man, because... It's a curved bowl. You didn't expect that, huh? I didn't want to... I'm going to just bring you chicken wings, huh? I didn't <laughs> want to throw everything in one pot. I wanted to make something out of every little thing. So, we do have a little of everything no cooked chicken. separately. So, we have different flavors and taste. But, I think if you have the right ingredients, man, everything goes together. You know? Let's see. Let's see. The pork. Uh, it is looking dry, but I think I'm full. Oh, yeah. color, color is looking good. So we're running out of time. This guy's running out of time. So you say five more minutes? Five more minutes, guys. Uh, Iron Chef right here. We got five more minutes on the countdown. I don't know so. about that, man, because I look at this. I'm trying my still best. Still raw. There's some raw ingredients here. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, nothing, squash. nothing wrong with raw veggies. Raw. I'm not going to eat the raw veggies. Man. All I mean is it's just <laughs> more, this more vitamins and minerals in there. Just add mm -hmm. some flavor. <laughs> So everything smells delicious, looks delicious, but this one right here, this pot right here, you got three habanero peppers in there. All right. Okay, what are you planning on doing with that? It could be good salsa right sauce there. after, you know what I mean? Like once we start eating everything, it's like, not finished. We can always make salsa sauce. Uh, we're, we're a little nervous, man. <laughs> it seems like there there was no plan for it, but you didn't want to waste it. Yeah, that's that's how I like it, man. No plans. Just throw everything on the table, everything in the pot, and uh, see how it goes, right? Awesome. I think that's the most exciting part. Where we're just tasting how uh, you know we put together like a challenge. You know? So this is my challenge. So you guys might be next. Okay, I want to see what you guys got next. All right, shiro usagi sauce. Okay. I was gonna put some Spanish sauce on the corn and the potatoes. Slap some of this. Are you 
for some flavor and some color. Sauce and put Not too much, just for a hint. Yeah. The pot is still questionable. Maybe a couple more minutes, right? Mm -hmm. okay. A couple minutes. I'm gonna get a drink and uh, I think it's ready to eat, man. Because we're expecting a restaurant dish, okay? Yeah. We got the pork chops, some lemongrass. We got some lemongrass pork chops. Some pink salt and pepper. So that's Mexican squash, uh, bell pepper, and cabbage, right? Cabbage. Yeah. What did you put in there? We got. Soy sauce, fish sauce, oh, yeah. fish sauce, fish sauce, peppers, uh, black pepper, salt. So this is basically just a filler, not too much sauce. You know what I mean, guys? The potatoes. Oh, man, that looks really good. The potatoes with the, uh, with the what is this? With the Cheeto. cider, right? You add yeah. a cider in that too? We got some lemon, we got some corn. Okay. Basically just flavored. I mean, I love potatoes, so how bad can it be, right? Alright. Alright. I think that's it. No, that is not it. What's, uh, what are we doing oh, yes, with this? We got this right here. The habanero secret sauce. Hmm. I have a feeling next time I'm gonna be in trouble. <laughs> He's gonna buy me some ingredients I've never seen in my life and I might have to cook. Well, you like being in trouble. And I'm not as good as this guy right here. Oh, easy. Easy. <laughs> Um, that looks good. I mean, it looks good. It definitely smells good. Um, you know, the pork chops, the potatoes, and then that side of the Mexican squash and cabbage uh, look great. Uh, the only questionable part is this uh, side of onions, tomato, and uh, habanero peppers that you got. But, you know, we'll see. I mean, I actually trust this guy I know he's pretty good cook so what can go wrong I'll, try, I'll start with the squash be as honest as you can what? squash is good it's cooked mm -hmm. mm. potato oh, yeah. potatoes a little bit on the cook man mm. the squash is good though the squash is good that's good peppers potatoes the flavor is good but it's on the cook so I'm gonna dock some points for that. Okay. Are you agreeing I'm glad, with me? I'm glad you're honest. God, this is delicious. Did huh? you fla taste it? Any flavor? How, tell me about the flavor of the potato. They've got a little bit of that, a little bit of that cider taste to it. Cider? Yep. I, I tasted some oh, of this in there. Maybe that's, maybe that's what I'm getting. I something. did put some lemon in, uh, lime in there, but the uh, musagi flavor. Yeah, there's like a... I don't know if it's a sweetness or there's something else. Pot sweet and sour. Yeah. Yes. The pork. The main ingredient. Tell us about the pork. Want some of that lemongrass? Perfectly cooked. The oh, pork man. is juicy. Oh. Oh. The lemongrass flavor definitely stands out. Yeah. Strong it's lemongrass. Strong lemongrass. That's great. Mm -hmm. Now this is what I'm worried about, this, the, the habanero, the salad. I don't know what it is. Is, is this a salad or what, what is this? It's supposed to be a, a uh, sauce concoction. Whatever it is, man. It's good. Have that with the... Oh, have that with the pork chop? That is... Uh, mm. All right. I all tried right. it just by itself. Yep. It's actually good. It's not that spicy. No. Like, really? You I'm like surprised a, myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's got very little kick. Mm -hmm. Definitely can t taste the heat. Yep. But man, like I expected it to be super spicy. Three habanero peppers in there. You know how how it is for me? Like I have no idea what how am I to cook whatever. But somehow when you start the start the process, start the process of chopping, how you chop, somehow that kind of put part of that puzzle together for me. So after the chopping, I kind of had the idea coming, you know. So after I uh, put some of that salt and pepper in, I had an idea of what kind of flavor it goes in. Honestly, I was worried because you you, Me look too. Like, you look like you didn't know where you were going. I was sweating. Yeah. It is hot over here at Orange County. It was like 90, almost man, almost yeah, three. It's, it's uh, very hot. Yep. 100 degrees today. Man, man. Overall, man. 
I think you succeeded. Ooh, complete challenge for you. Yeah. Good luck, Roman. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm the next one on the chopping block, but. But guys, so this is, uh, you saw what happened here today. It was actually a successful challenge. Mm -hmm. I thought I'm gonna take him down, but it didn't happen. I'm enjoying my food, mm -hmm. besides a couple of pieces of potato. But overall, it's delicious. I mean, it was a successful, I'll give it to you. You're a good chef. From one to 10, what would you play? Put the number on the plate. I'll one give you ten. about seven. And then that's a respectable number. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's good. I I would do the same. I think the issue is the rest of the ingredients can't make it that interesting. Um, so you the, want them to more kind of mix it into. I like... I think too many of the ingredients are just too similar because you got peppers, you got tomatoes, you got onions, you got then cabbage. Mm -hmm. So like, what else are you gonna do other than a slaw? Yeah, I know. That's, like a fair, that. that's a fair. That's a fair. So like, there's there's just not too much you can do with it, and I think you did really good, and I think this. This is a star. That, that was good. That's <laughs> great. Um, Overall, six or seven on the flavor, right? I'm sticking like closer to seven. Yeah, yeah. I, overall, but again, that's that's overall. I'm gonna go six or seven. But you give me you give me more of that like pork chop. Pork you chop. give me more of that uh, that hot sauce stuff that you got that you made. That's that's an eight or a nine. E easy, easy. Okay. Because that's delicious. I appreciate you guys' uh, honest opinions on it and stuff like that. As far as the pork was, I was surprised myself that it came out not too dry. To me, I, I thought it looked like it was overcooked, uh -huh. but we just slapped it on to make it quick. Yeah. That's the reason why we, like, I love to cook stuff in the pot like that real quick and fast. All that flavor gets in there real quick and fast. Potatoes to me, I know for most, uh, it could be undercooked, but I kind of like a little bit of crunch in there. Mm -hmm. I don't like it too soggy, too much. Mm -hmm. So what would you rate yourself? Yeah. <laughs> I... Keeping in mind mm -hmm. that this is what you think you're capable of too. I would rate myself a... Okay. Eight or nine. Because I'm comparing myself to a restaurant. If I see this dish in, in, a, in the restaurant, I think I would enjoy it. A nine. To me, if I go to a restaurant, a restaurant out there that has a pork dish, I think this is pretty competitive to what they will have. Damn, you are really like high opinion by yourself. No, but I'm not. Nine. I, so almost the best. Like you can't get better than this. Right I now. did. I, I seriously, uh, um, honestly, know that I did my best in flavor and taste putting it together. So to me, it's, with all the ingredients right there, I don't think anybody can make anything better, better than that. It will be ch challenging with the same ingredients. Okay. You know, but who knows? Prove me wrong, let me know. Uh -huh. Let me know what you guys think. Let, okay. me, let me know what you guys think about So how, you think you're the best? No, I didn't say that. If I said the best, you I would just be. Said it. I would have given myself Eight a nine, ten. You, like you did top. compare yourself to <laughs> restaurants. <laughs> I did. Like I'm assuming a good restaurant. Mm -hmm. I'm on it. Well, you know, for us, we always got to eat it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure our our, uh, our cooking is better than the restaurant, so we don't go out there and eat. Mm -hmm. And not only that, take some of that cooking flavor home and cook. Mm -hmm. And you know, it, it gives us a lot of uh, experience on cooking by just going out there and learning how. The, the real chefs do it daily, you know. So for me, I've been blessed enough to be able to go out there, in, uh, Orange County, Little Saigon. That's diverse amount of food. Mm -hmm. So all this is basically the factors of all those places around here that I've been to. That's fair. Well, anyways, that, that's uh, we're gonna wrap up for this episode. This is the the Iron Chef. Apparently, he thinks he's the best. Uh, Land is over. Yeah, Bobby Flay over here. Bobby Flay, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. And next time is gonna be, apparently I'm gonna be on the chopping block. And um, yeah, uh, I don't know, he's gonna, he's gonna throw me a curveball, I feel it. <laughs> you deserve it. Just be ready. Just yeah. try to be the seven. I'm ready, man. It's okay. We'll, we'll do it. We'll see you guys later and uh, stay cool. <laughs>